Well, we all know how important connection and getting out in community is, but for people in long-term care, it can be difficult. And that's where the Cycling Without Age program comes in. Volunteers take residents out for rides as passengers in a special cargo bike. Now, as Tess Van Stratton shows us in this week's Vital People, they need your help to keep things rolling. When Dr. Don Little goes for a ride in Beacon Hill Park, there's no shortage of laughter. Okay, no speeding. Laugh and the world laughs with you. Cry and you cry alone. I don't do any crying. <laughs> the 97-year-old Mount St. Mary Hospital resident loves to go for rides on this electric assist trishaw. Oh, I love the fresh air. I love the scenery. I love the change. It's part of the Cycling Without Age program and it rolls through the park six days a week thanks to the pedal power of volunteers. We used to only do it in the summer months, this spring, summer, fall. As soon as it was cold, we stopped. 2022, we decided, let's try this year round. So now we do it year round and everybody loves it. It's just so wonderful. It's so much fun for all of us. It's a win. And helmet on. In addition to the volunteer pilot, a volunteer companion rides shotgun or a family member tags along to help build community and connection. And it's just a great way for people to connect together and do something that's meaningful. It's amazing. We go all year as long as it's not raining because we're so cozy in here. Anita says residents look forward to the rides and come back excited and reinvigorated. We know that social connection is crucial to people's health and well-being and being able to provide programs that offer social connection like the Trishaw, it's just been so beneficial. But this bike is just on loan temporarily after the program's Trishaw broke down. We're terribly distressed over it because if we don't have this, how do we get the residents out right. into the world? To keep pedaling, volunteers are asking the community for help with repairs and the purchase of a second trishaw so they can expand the popular program. We need 20,000, which is a mountain in front of us. But if everyone gave what they could and everyone gave a little here and there, I think we can make it. I gave at the office. You did. And so we have, well, you were first out of the gate with the donation. He said, I'm first. Donations can be made to Mount St. Mary, either online or by phone, so this program can keep making a difference. I think that I get more out of it than I give because I have so much fun, so I can't say that I'm giving back. I'm just enjoying. <laughs> so, but I think it's such a wonderful program. Everybody feels so good after they come for a ride. As for Dr. Don. They take good care of me even though I'm a stinker. <laughs> he can't say enough about the volunteers who make it possible. I think the volunteers are a gift from heaven. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.